Now, if you guys remember a couple of years ago, I believe it was about four years ago, and I think I also did some other stories in the past with this same person, the one creepy gay guy. Yes, there is another story left about him that I just sort of forgot just because it was kind of weird. And one of my friends reminded me of that, so I was like, oh yeah, he did fucking do that. This guy was stranger than I remember. He did a lot of incredibly, incredibly, incredibly weird shit. So this ended up happening um, in, I believe, I'm trying to think, when did that story actually come out? Um, fuck, I think I was a freshman, maybe a sophomore, I don't really remember, but 2019, yeah, I think I was a sophomore. But basically, I remember like a week after that video came out, I don't remember how many views it had, but my channel was relatively small at the time. Probably had like 50 subscribers, if even that. But I just remember that guy, he literally walked up to me and he was, and I'm not going to do the voice because the gay voice, when I do that, it hurts my voice actually. So I'm not going to do that fucking voice anymore. But I remember he just walked up to me and he said like, you made me famous. And I was like, what? I made you famous, how? And he goes, oh, that video you did about me. And I was like, fuck, he knew it was about him? Damn. And um, I was just so surprised because I was thinking, I'm like, there's probably there were probably at least a few people who were gay in that school. So, I mean, I didn't really know if he was going to immediately know it was about him, but I, I guess he did. So he basically just um, was saying, oh, you made me famous. You do more videos about me. And I was like, no. <laughs> And I guess he decided, like, um, oh, if I do more weird shit, then this guy's gonna do more videos about me. So, fucking weird gay guy, if you're still watching this video, then fuck off, and I'm glad that I don't have to talk to you anymore, because you're fucking a disgusting person. And I honestly don't know why gay people like to go for straight people, it's fucking ridiculous, I mean, that'd be like, if I was trying to date lesbians, it would be impossible, you know, like, there was no chance in heck that they would date a straight person, the same thing with me, there's no way in heck that I would date a gay person, obviously, but that's besides the point, I was just thinking, why is this guy still bothering me and everything, so basically what he did was, somehow he found my Snapchat, and, um, like, I, he added me, and I was just like, who the heck is this guy? Because I didn't really recognize his name or whatever. And then he told me, he was like, I'm the creepy gay guy. That's literally what he said. And he was like, oh, I don't like that name, but I think it's funny. And I was just like, oh, okay, then what do you want? And he was and he was saying, I think he said like, oh, I subscribe to your YouTube channel. I was like, oh, thanks. Cool. I don't care. It's fine with me, I guess. If I don't know why you're telling me that. Um and then I think he said something about, he told me, he was like, I have certain fetishes. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> okay. And I think he said something about, I was, I was like, what do you, what do you like? Cause he kept, he kept saying it like 15 times. I was like, I don't care. I don't care. And he, he was like, aren't you going to ask me what it is? I was like, no, I'm not going to. And then he just kept asking him like, fine. Just if, if this leak gets me to stop talking with him, if he stops talking to me about this, sure. Fucking humor this weirdo. So then he said he was like, oh, I like people's feet. I was like, okay, cool. Congratulations. Um, you're a fucking weirdo. So he asked, he kept asking me, he's like, send me a picture of your feet. I was like, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't, I don't think I am. That's very weird. Shit, this phone is, okay, I got to figure out a way to hold this thing. Whatever. But I was like, no, that's really weird. I'm not going to do that. Um, and then he kept asking me. And I, and I think I remember blocking him. And then I think literally like 10 minutes later, he gets back to me. And I was like, you're not going to get rid of me that easily. And he, he had another account. I was like, oh, great. Whatever. So he kept bothering me. He kept bothering me. He kept bothering me about it and um i believe at one point i was just like okay this guy's really getting on my nerves so if he's gonna leave me alone then i obviously wasn't gonna send him a picture of my feet because it's just weird so i decided to just i looked up feet on the internet i just googled it and um <laughs> I, I literally just googled it and everything and then <laughs> he, he and then after i googled it i sent it to him and he was like oh they're really nice Thanks, thanks. 
They're not even mine. They're probably some random homeless guys. So then after that, I guess he stopped talking to me. And after a while, he finally graduated the school. He was like a year or two older than I was. So I didn't have to deal with him throughout my entire high school career. But yeah, that is pretty much the story of the, the creepy gay guy. And um, I don't think there's any more stories about him, but I will let you guys know if one of my friends recalls another one or anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.